all right we are welcome again we are talking about partial fraction and today we want to take the composition of partial fraction let's take this question decompose into partial fraction x all over x plus one in bracket squared times x plus two okay decompose into partial fraction x all over x plus one in bracket squared x plus two okay now let's go we're gonna split this you know we have a situation whereby we have squared mm? so when we have squared we're going to split it into two one we have squared and one we not have okay so let's go we're going to split it into three like this we're going to have a all over x plus one plus b all over x plus one squared okay is that true plus c all over x plus two now let's go we're going to say let's multiply two by x plus one squared x plus two multiply through multiply everything the left hand side and the right hand side by x plus one squared x plus two so when you multiply through this is how it will look okay this is how it will look like so when you perform the operation on the left hand side you will see that x plus one squared we cancel x plus one squared and then x plus two we, we cancel x plus two so we'll be left with x so on the right hand side on a side x plus one we cancel one of the x plus one squared you know we have x plus one squared so one of it will go remaining one x plus one and then x plus two then we have a so on b side x plus one we also uh, x plus one squared we cancel x plus one squared so we'll be left with b and x plus two so on c side x plus two we cancel x plus two we'll be left with c times x plus one squared so therefore this row will be remaining or this row will be left with x equal to a x plus one in bracket x plus two in bracket plus b x plus two in bracket plus c x plus one in bracket squared okay now let's go in our factors let's set one of them equal to zero let's set x plus one equal to zero so setting x plus one equal to zero gonna have x is equal to minus one x is equal to minus one and then in our expression x equal to a bracket x plus one which bracket x plus two in bracket plus b x plus two in bracket plus c x plus one squared in bracket so anywhere we see x we are going to equate it to minus one so in doing so we are going to have minus one equal to a open bracket minus one plus one close the bracket minus one plus two close the bracket in bracket plus b minus one plus two in bracket plus c minus one plus one in bracket raised to power two so in a we are having minus one plus one is going to give us what zero so zero times a zero zero times minus one plus two is equal to what zero now on c we have minus one plus one which is equal to what zero zero squared zero so on b we have minus one plus two which is one so one times b is equal to b so therefore we have minus one equal to zero plus b plus zero so zero plus b plus zero is equal to b so we have minus one equal to b b is equal to minus one all right good let's also set the other factor to zero so setting x plus 2 equal to 0 we have x is equal to minus 2 so in that same rf expression wherever we see x we're going to replace it with minus 2 so therefore we're going to have minus 2 equal to a upper bracket minus 2 plus 1 close it 
open another minus 2 plus 2 close it plus b open bracket minus 2 plus 2 close it plus c open bracket minus 2 plus 1 close it raised to power 2 okay so on a side when we say minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0 so 0 times the bracket 0 0 times a 0 so everything on a side equal to 0 on b we have minus 2 plus 2 equal to 0 0 times b 0 so on c we have minus 2 plus 1 which is equal to minus 1 so minus 1 squared okay equal to 1 so 1 times c c c plus 0 c c plus 0 c so we have minus 2 equal to c so therefore we're going to have we're going to see that c is equal to minus 2 so we have found b equal to minus 1 and then c equal to minus 2 so how are we going to find a how are we going to find a please pay attention in that our expression let's go x is equal to a open bracket x plus 1 close it x plus 2 in bracket plus b x plus 2 in bracket plus c x plus 1 in bracket raised to power 2 okay in this place let's expand let's expand let's open the bracket so in opening the bracket we're going to have a x is equal to a let's multiply these two brackets we're going to have x squared plus 3 x plus 2 plus we have b x plus 2 plus c when you perform the operation x plus 1 squared is going to give you x squared plus 2 x plus 1 so here let's expand in full let's expand in full so in expanding we're going to have x is equal to we're going to say a times x squared is going to give us a x squared a times 3x we're going to give us 3 ax then a times 2 is equal to 2a and then in the other side b we have b times x we're going to have bx and then b times 2 we're going to have 2b plus on c side we're going to have c times x squared we'll have c x squared c times 2x we're going to have c uh, 2 cx and then c times 1 equal to c okay now here let's see what we can do next what we're going to do here is let us arrange it based on the number of degrees let's arrange based on their number of degrees okay so let's arrange it this way we're going to have x is equal to we have a x squared plus another one with x squared we have c x squared let's bring it together we have plus c x squared plus we have 3 a x plus b x plus 2 c x plus 2 a plus 2 b plus c based on the the number of their what degrees okay good so here we are having a x squared plus c x squared so we have x squared in a x squared and then x squared in c x squared okay let's factor out x squared so factor out x squared we're gonna have a plus c x squared all right plus in this one we have 3 a x and then b x plus 2 c x let's factor out x so we'll factor out x we're going to have 3 a plus b plus 2 c in bracket x okay plus 2 a plus 2 b plus c you know this method we are using is called comparing coefficients comparing coefficient all right good now here we have x is equal to a plus b in bracket x squared plus 3a plus b plus 2c in bracket x plus 2a plus 2b plus c okay good comparing the coefficients we have our terms on the left hand side and other times on the left hand side 
we want to compare the coefficient of the terms on the left hand side with the terms on the right hand side okay so on the left hand side are we having x squared no that means our x squared is equal to zero so we have on our right hand side a plus c to be the coefficient of what x squared so that means that our x squared on the left hand side is equal to zero so comparing their coefficient on the term on the left hand side and the right hand side so a plus c is equal to zero hello please pay attention good more also our term x on the right hand side is having the coefficient of 3a plus b plus 2c and then our term x on the left hand side we have just x so and then the coefficient of this x is what one so therefore the coefficient on the right hand side of x we have 3a plus b plus 2c let's equal it that means we're going to have 3a plus b plus 2c equal to one moroso we have 2a plus 2b plus c you get it that is x raised to power zero here it is equal to we have 2a plus 2b plus c and then the, the this is the coefficient of x raised to power zero on the right hand side and then on the left hand side the x raised to power zero the coefficient is also zero so we're going to equate it to zero we have 2a plus 2b plus c equal to zero all right good let's pick the first one we have a plus c equal to zero but you know that we have found our b to be minus one we have found c to be minus two so what we are left with is just a and then we can pick the first equation which is a plus c equal to zero but we know our a sorry but we know our c to be minus two let's let's replace it here so we're going to have a minus two equal to zero a minus two equal to zero so let's take two to the other side we're going to have a is equal to two so therefore we have found our a to be two b minus one c minus two so let's go back to our initials let's replace a b c with the new values we just obtained so therefore we're going to have x all over x plus one in bracket squared x plus two in bracket is equal to in place of a now we're going to have two all over x plus one so we have our b to be what minus one so we're going to have minus we have one all over x plus one in bracket squared so we have our c to be also minus so we're going to have minus we have two all over x plus two all right yes thank you very much please let's take more example for better understanding let's go